So we're driving the van out from Montana uh, to North Carolina to visit Amy's folks and help them with a home renovation that they're working on. And hopefully we're gonna get to do some fishing while we're there. What's up guys? We're uh, in the mountains of western North Carolina today. We're going to do some small stream fishing. We're here a little bit early, which is rare that the van gets somewhere early, but we're just waiting on Scotty from Wildfly Productions to show up. Awesome dude, great channel. I'm sure most of you are probably familiar with it. He's going to show us around here um, a little bit today. And then we also have some cool announcements coming up um, about other awesome stuff we got coming to our channel, which we're super excited to uh, announce. So. Yeah, hopefully we catch some fish and it'll be a good day. Alright guys, so we got a little bit carried away just sort of getting to know each other and having fun time fishing and we didn't really end up filming all that much, so sorry about that. But, luckily for you, we recorded a podcast on top of making awesome short films and series for Wildfly. Um, Scotty and the gang also run a podcast called uh, The Wildfly Podcast and we talked for two hours or something. By the time you're seeing this, that should be live, so I'll leave a link down in the description. You guys can check that out. It's kind of one of the first times where we've really had an in-depth discussion about our creative process in general and also specific projects like Big Land and Journey On. So if you're interested in that kind of stuff, check it out. But for now, um, we're heading north a little bit to try and catch a incredible natural phenomenon and hopefully um, fishing opportunity that we tried, some of you may recall, we tried to catch right in 2017 in the second part to journey on um, northern exposure and that's the periodical cicada hatch it was a different brood in 2017 i don't remember the number 13 or 14 i think um, this year is brood 10. Um, they use roman numerals so brood x and uh, it's the largest of all the north american broods though so it's a big deal and it's been 17 years and it won't be another 17 years before they emerge again so you kind of catch it, lasts for a month or so. Um, you catch it when you can. And we're really hoping that this time we're heading to basically the same area that we did for the other brood because they kind of overlap um, a little bit. But if you recall, if you've seen that film, um, we did not catch any cicadas on the water. We saw a ton elsewhere, but not on the water. So we're really hoping that this year we hit it right. So yeah, we'll see you there.
appear that we're being duped by the cicada hatch once again. There's a ton of bugs out here in the trees and on the ground, um, but there's just nothing on the water yet. Um, and the fish definitely aren't keyed into them. I mean, we've been fishing this pattern all morning, um, haven't gotten a single fish to even look at it. They're, they're feeding pretty heavily on the surface, but they're mostly just interested in, in sulfurs. We've heard that the hatch might actually be uh, a little bit farther along farther downstream, so go check that out. And hopefully we'll be seeing more bugs actually on the water. I feel like if we can't find fish eating them here, then you can't find fish eating them anywhere. There he goes. That's crazy. Good luck. Well, so the cicadas were obviously a total bust. Um, yeah, misjudged that again. Um, but we gotta go, so I guess we'll try again in another 17 years when we're the ripe old age of 49. The reason we got ahead is we've got a gig up in the north Maine woods um, doing some branded content for a fly rod company called Maine Fly, which for those of you who may not be aware, that's essentially what we do to make a living as we're independent filmmakers and photographers and writers and creatives. Unfortunately, we're not just full-time um, YouTubers. In fact, I don't really know that we're YouTubers at all. We're filmmakers and we love the platform that YouTube offers, so we put our work on here. But we're trying to be better at being YouTubers, um, whatever that means, because it's a great opportunity, I think, on YouTube to be able to create awesome content that's audience-fueled and be able to just continue to grow that into doing bigger and better things. Which sort of leads me uh, to my next point, which is we've got a big series coming out. It's gonna be exclusively here on YouTube. Yeah, we'll catch up on that in a minute. For now, uh, we gotta hit the road. We'll see you in the main woods. We made it to the main woods. We're at Chandler Lake Camps. 
which is a beautiful camp here in the remote northern Maine woods. We got here a little early uh, to when the clients are arriving and we're working with and we we're hoping that we'd be able to use our time to do a little bit of fishing ourselves. So we're out on Chandler Lake now, paddling around. We haven't caught anything. We don't know what we're doing here. Just heard a rise. It's really nice to be back up here in the Maine woods, not too far from where we paddled on the Allagash. Some of you may remember that short film in our lead up to our trip to Labrador. I don't know if you can tell how bad the bugs are. It's all part of the experience. It's quite fitting that we're back here in the North Woods because the first couple episodes of our new series, which I mentioned, takes place in the North Woods. And I guess I keep talking about the series and no one has any idea what I'm talking about because I haven't actually said anything about it. So um, it's called For Wild Sake, The Rare Trout Chronicles. And it started as a mission for me to illustrate, like with paint and pencil, draw and illustrate rare species of trout. Some of you may or may not be familiar from our website, seeing the prints that we sell of the scientific style, hyper-realistic renderings of, of fish that I do, mostly trout. Um, but that is something that I do. I had sort of a bucket list of, of rarer salmonids that I was interested in illustrating. We realized that there was a great opportunity to sort of highlight each of the species and the adventure it takes to find them. Most of them live in really remote and pristine areas. I don't know if you can hear the loons. We quickly realized that not only was it a great opportunity to sort of highlight these fish and tell the story of us traveling and living in our van, but also to talk about some much bigger ideas in angling and conservation and our relationship as people to the natural world. And it sort of ballooned into this pretty extensive series. I think you can expect many, many hours of content and upwards of 10 to 15 episodes in this first season. And there's probably gonna be more seasons, but uh, We'll see how the first season goes and see if we kill ourselves too much getting it done and see what the response is from everybody out there and see if it's something that people want to see another season of. Oh my God, look at this. Look at these tadpoles. You, got, you have to see this. By the time you're seeing this, it should only be a week before the first episode drops. And the next episode will be a week after that, and the next one a week after that. Not every episode will come out within a week's time. We're working on it while they're being released. Um, and some will just take longer than others to get it to the standard that we want it to be at. I w we really, we wish it could be every week, but um, the first three episodes are cut, pretty much. So you can expect those to be rolling out over the next month, and then there'll probably be a brief break before the next series of episodes starts to come out which will highlight an, a new species but this first first series of episodes is about an incredibly cool and rare fish that only lives in 12 ponds in Maine um, it's a landlocked arctic char southernmost population of arctic char on earth we fished for them gosh two years ago now that's how long we've been working on this series um, but that's how long it's taken to sort of get it fully formed and where we want it. But we couldn't be more excited. So stoked to finally be getting it out and we really hope everybody enjoys it. It starts in Maine and then takes us all over the country uh, over the course of a year and a half, living full time in our van, which most of you here are probably familiar with from some of our earlier films about long extended trips we did in our van. Well, we now live in there full time. We don't have any apartment anywhere else. So I, I feel like this series is sort of a, a culmination of a ton of what's come before um, in terms of sort of travel films and fly fishing films and expedition films and science and education and philosophy and all that wrapped into one. It's probably the most us thing we've probably ever made. Just know that you're not gonna wanna miss it. So tune in and we can't wait for everyone to see it. We obviously didn't catch anything on Chandler Lake, but after speaking to the guides, it turns out that that's not really much of a trout fishing lake anyway. Uh, but we got a good tip on somewhere we can head today before the clients arrive later in the afternoon and hopefully get into a couple of fish 
in a remote pond with a canoe stashed. And it should be great. I mean, that's like the most quintessentially main thing you can do. And one of the fun things about operating out here in the North Woods is that there's no cell phone service. We've got to resurrect our primitive skills of map reading to get ourselves there. What could go wrong? How'd you miss your turn? The map's right here. Well, we made it. Came down that away. It's a little trail into the woods here that leads to our vessel for the day. And here it is. Our private canoe for the day. And our own private remote main pond for the day. Can't beat it. You like this look? <laughs> yeah. Gotta get the chapstick ready. Yeah, cause someone sprayed me in the mouth with the keratin. <laughs> that was me. Look at that beautiful Maine brook trout. <laughs> beautiful spawning colors. One of the awesome perks of being at Chandler Camps, bounty of snacks. Well, that just about wraps it up from here in Maine, guys. We gotta get to work, but make sure, set your calendars, tune in Sunday, July 11th for the premiere of For Wild Sake here on YouTube. We can't wait for all you guys to see it. You're not gonna wanna miss it. We'll see you then.